The Credit Show podcast with Harry Jacobs starts now. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau announced not long ago that they were smack dab in the middle of their own data breach. And if you don't know, the CFPB, they're responsible for anything consumer finance related. So I did go on the CFPB website to see if they had anything about this breach, their own data breach, and and found an article about them taking action to protect consumers from shoddy data security practices. I don't know how that applies to this situation, but it does appear that the breach was the action of just one bad actor within the Bureau. He emailed himself 250,000 files with all kinds of consumer information, and all that data was related to one institution. I'm guessing it was a credit card, but you know we don't know. The employee obviously has since been fired. So here, you know, here's my issue. Every single time that we have some sort of a crisis related to finance or identif- identity theft in this country, I don't care what it is, there's a scammer that's lurking around the corner. They come out of the woodwork, hiding in plain sight day in and day out, and their preferred delivery system to spread the word of these insidious and nefarious and bogus scams is social media. Of course it is, right? It's the clearinghouse for most everything wrong with our society. So I discovered a scammer trying to take advantage of this breach, and he's all over Instagram and TikTok And little does he know that he is our special guest today. Now, he didn't sign a release, nor do we have his permission to use his voice, his likeness, or information to broadcast or rebroadcast. So the lawyers that are involved in this program, who probably are often left scratching their heads as to why or how I've made it this far in life without adult supervision, they've told me that not only can I not use this person's video, but I shouldn't use his name or his company name. You know, they just suck the life and the fun out of it. Everything. So, having said that, I will tell you that his name is. You see, that's what the lawyers do. And his company name is. My point, exactly. So, I've hired a voice actor, my friend Agent Grasso, who is from Parts Unknown. He's going to play the role of. All right, I get it. So, I have a handful of clips for you here. Let's roll clip one on this scam with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's data breach. So, the CFPB just admitted to the release of millions of sensitive information. An employee there emailed himself about a quarter million pieces of information. And guess what? The CFPB knew about it months back and they decided not to tell anyone until now. He says he has no idea why no one's talking about the CFPB data breach. All of a sudden, he's like Anderson Cooper or Brett Baer or, you know, wherever you get your news from. So, all of a sudden, he's got important breaking credit news for us. By the way, a little fact check here tells us that in March, Congress was notified by the CFPB, as were the rest of us. So there's big fat lie number one. And here's where it gets good. Roll clip two. But now since this happened, this is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of this and go ahead, get any collections, charge off, and late payments removed. And this is how you're going to do it. Now, I know I stopped it at the good part where was going to instruct his minions on how to fix their credit on the heels of this crisis. And we're going to get to that in a second. There is more, I promise. Not only is he releasing fake news under the heading of real breaking news, but he's identified for you and I the perfect scam, which he lays out for us when he says this data breach is the perfect opportunity for you and I and any of the throngs of his loyal Insta or TikTok or YouTube followers to start getting things off your credit report. This is the pathway to remove collections and charge-offs, late payments from our credit. And here's how the scam works. Roll clip three. You're going to get the CFPB data violation breach letter, and you're going to send it over to each bureau that's got sensitive information on you trying to get certain things removed. And then, boom, you should have everything removed in 30 to 60 days. If you don't have the letter or you don't know where to get one, don't worry. I got you covered. Oh, simple as that. Just get yourself one of those handy-dandy CFPB data violation breach letters. But as it turns out, when you punch up CFPB data violation breach letter into your Google or your Bing, whatever search engine you prefer, you're directed to the CFPB website. And why is that? Because there's no such letter. It doesn't exist to begin with. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. You're listening to this program wondering to yourself, how would a fella that needs collections or charge-offs or late payments removed from his credit very quickly in a very simple way. How would he find that letter? Who would have access to such a coveted and valuable document? I will now pause for a moment to let those of you listening in your home, your car, 
on your hammock, wherever you listen to radio shows or podcasts, to shout back at the delivery system which provides delivery of such programming to give me the correct answer. Ready? Go. All right, time's up. If you said, I bet this fine credit scholar who's alerted us to this wonderful opportunity to remove collections and charge-offs and lay payments from our credit reports would supply this document to us, you win a free subscription to the Credit Show podcast. You're also probably wondering what the cost might be for a such a value document. So let's roll clip four. So you can actually buy the letter from me for only $25. Yes, 25 bucks. If you would like for me to handle anything for you, just respond breach in the comments. The CFPB data violation letter is available right now through our guests for a low, low price of only $25. So listen, I, I, I think it's worth noting that our guest also uses a handle called Credit God in one of his other profiles? Of course he does. So in closing, what I wanted to share with you today, two things. First of all, the data breach at the CFPB happened. So one man operation, former employee, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau fired him. If you were affected, I'm sure you're going to be notified and you'll get some credit monitoring and they'll take care of it. The second part of my message, and this is the main theme today, is to be careful who or what you listen to for around every corner and behind every tree as long as man has roamed the earth and for as long as there has been the legal tender cash there's been someone looking to liberate that cash from you and who runs credit repair company whoever he is he's a shining example of a scammer don't follow him don't take his foolish advice don't send him 25 bucks for his fake scam letter for if you do you will not pass go you will not collect $200, and you will go straight to jail. You've been listening to the Credit Show podcast with Harry Jacobs. If you need assistance with your credit, text CREDIT to 702-778-2000.